What is up guys, it's Jay here, Jay Media one and today we're back with another product to review. Today we got the Aluxum, so we're back with our partners in Aluxum. We got a 15 watt smart wireless car holder. This thing actually charges your phone when it's in the holder, which makes it super cool. You don't have to plug anything in, it's going to go ahead and wirelessly charge that through Qi charging, which is very cool, so we thought we would show this to you guys. So let's go. Okay, so it comes in a box just like this, which looks pretty good. Luxem always does a pretty good job with packaging. We don't really have to worry about them getting, you know, things damaged in shipping because they do a great job. Just flip open the lid. We got a little bit of reading material here. Kind of shows you how to set everything up. Uh, first bag we pull out here. We're going to see that we have this little mount here. It's got this little hook on the bottom. And then we actually have this ball on top with a little bit of adjustment right there. We're going to set that aside. We also have another mount inside of here. This one's got the suction cup on it. And this is going to be good if you want to mount it to your front windshield on your vehicle. So you're going to want to stick this on the windshield. And then you got your little bit of adjustments here. As you can see, this pulls in and out. It's kind of telescopes. That'll help you to make the adjustments to put it exactly where you need it. Everybody's windshield on their car is going to be a little bit different as far as angle goes. So this is really nice. And then we got the little thumb adjustment here so we can tighten that down. Of course, we want to pull off the plastic. We're going to get this stuck to the window and make sure it's nice and tight. And then there's a little lockdown right here. So you can push that in and you're going to see that it kind of pulls that suction cup even more in, which sucks the air out and then it's going to make it hold Real, real nice and tight. We're going to leave that on there until we go to mount this thing. So we're going to pull out the actual charging portion of it. And this here, you can see it's got this little lock on the back. And that's typically where these balls, these little balls like this, fit into. And so you just loosen this up. This ball is going to snap right inside of there. And then you're going to tighten it down. That's going to set your angular adjustment. So you can change the angle here like this. And then you can kind of angle where you want it, tighten this down. And then it's going to look really good. Now this thing is a little bit beefy as you can see on the back. It says that it's wirelessly charging at 5 volts, 9 volts, and 12 volts. 2 amps max. It's got an output of 5 watts. And the conversion efficiency on this is 75%, which is really good. You got these little side holders that come out here. Now these you don't want to manually kind of pull out. Because this does have a feature on it where this will electronically pull in and out. Which is super cool. We really, really like that, and that's one of the reasons that I really wanted to have you guys take a look at this. Underneath here, you can see that it's USB-C. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Alexa, for using USB-C. We can see the cable right here for that. So it goes USB-C to USB-A. If you have a USB-A charger in some of these newer cars are going to USB-A, you're going to want to use that for the best efficiency out of the cable. We're going to get this thing kind of set up show you guys how it operates. Okay guys, so you can see here we have two different ways to mount this. So we can mount this on the windshield, which we kind of showed you. This is the vent mount. The cool part about this is that it does have a little thumb screw underneath here. And that allows this to move up and down. I know it's kind of hard to see how much adjustment it's making. But that's going to grab the, if you look at the vent here, that's going to grab the back side of this vent. And uh, that's what's going to allow it to stay nice and strong on the, on the vent itself. So two different really cool ways to mount it. Um, if you're a windshield person, it's going to stick to your windshield like this kind of. So you're just going to peel this plastic off of here. That's going to keep it clean. You want to clean that part of your windshield real good. You obviously want to use like an alcohol wipe or something like that where it's going to stick because it's going to stick better that way. You do have this lock on the back side. So you're going to flip that lock. Once you get it mounted, you're going to flip that lock and it's going to kind of pull it in and make it even stronger. So your adjustment's here. You're just going to turn this knob, mount it kind of where you want it, right where you want to put it. Pull the lock down, hold it nice and tight, and then kind of make your adjustment here of kind of where you want it to be. Tighten that down. Your telescoping adjustment is this knob underneath, so you can move it up and down that way. And then you can, of course, rotate it however you like here. You're going to loosen this knob in the back right here, and that allows you to kind of make your adjustment. And then you're just going to tighten that down. 
not a huge fan of windshield mounts, but they work good for some people. Like I said, everybody's windshield's a little bit different, so however you want to adjust it. This is just going to plug underneath. And then you're going to plug it in down here to like a USB-A uh, outlet there. You can see as soon as I plug it in, these open up and this comes down. That's going to allow you to put your phone inside of the holder just like that. This right here is just a piece of plastic to protect it so we can peel that off. You can see the charging bolt on, on the side of there shows that it's a, a Luxum charger. Okay, so if we take our phone here, you can see that everything is kind of open and set up. It's really cool how this works. You just kind of place it inside of there and you don't have to really do anything else. You're just kind of letting it do its thing. It's going to adjust it up and down and then pull in the sides. And you can see now it's nice and tight and mounted inside of there. You're just going to put it inside of there you can tap the button if you like, and it's gonna do its adjustments. You hit the button on the side and it unmounts and comes right out. And as soon as you can, as soon as you put it inside of here, it's gonna to start to wirelessly charge. So it's making its adjustments, it's pulling it in. You can see that it's charging up inside of there. And it's just kind of, tr you're trying to get this Qi charger to line up right here. This probably isn't the best case for it because you want to have a, a, a nice MagSafe case so that it can grab onto that. But you do have the button on either side. So you can do left or the right side, and that's going to allow you to make your, it's going to allow it to make its adjustments and get it nice and tight. Now there is one more way to mount this. This is ridiculously strong. Look at that. Look how strong that is. That's not even holding it down anymore. I can literally try to pull this off. It will not pull off. That is super, super strong there, guys. So beware, if you're going to mount it that way, you have to be sure that that's where you want it to be because it's not going to come off. So we have this mount, which I said is like the vent holder mount. Now, every vent is a little bit different. So that means that this is going to line up differently, which means this does have a lot of room for adjustment. You can come all the way out like this, and it goes about that far, which is about, about an inch and a half or so. It lets you come underneath and hook underneath there. So we're going to have to get in real close with the camera so you can see this. But if you look, the hook goes under and it hooks behind the back of the vent. And once it does that, we got these two arms that come out here for extra support. We're going to tighten this down, which is going to pull it nice and close. It's going to pull it real nice and tight to that vent. You can see there. One of the best mounting systems that I've seen is this one because it's just really good and solid and tight. Matter of fact, you might be able to completely loosen it up, put it over top of the ball first, and then pop it on. And then you're just going to tighten this down, just like that. Position it however you like, and then crank it down. And that's it. It's a nice charger. It's out of the way. It automatically opens and closes. I love that electronic opening and closing. You just stick it inside of there, and it's going to do its thing. It's going to adjust it to where it wants it to be and then it's going to charge that is just so cool that it, it makes the, the adjustment for you and uh that's just super neat so they're doing some really cool things with these chi chargers now um to where they're able to do their automatic adjustments and things like that alexa is doing a really good job so we're going to get into some statistics on this all right so you guys saw how cool and easy this thing is to set up how neat it is i mean it just kind of locks everything in for you it's really cool how it does the self-adjusting and all that cool stuff like that. I'm just going to get into some key statistics. Reminder, make sure that your phone supports the wireless charging or the cheat charging. You have like a MagSafe iPhone, you're good to go. Basically, any new phone is going to have wireless charging. If you have an older phone, you just want to double check. You obviously don't want to hook this thing up to a phone that doesn't support that or else it's not going to work. So what's the coolest part about it? Well, you don't have to plug in your phone. You just stick it inside of the holder and it's going to do its job. It's going to open and close for you. And then it's going to start charging once it does. And that just makes it super easy and convenient to use. So the bad thing, if you have a case that's over four millimeters thick, this isn't going to work for you. You want to make sure that your case is thin enough to support Qi charging or that it has that MagSafe charging built into the case itself or else this will not work. However, if you have a thinner case or a lighter case, it's gonna be just fine. So the key things is a 15 watt fast card charger that adopts the latest charging standards and strength copper quill to fit all types of phones and support key, uh, cheap wireless charging. 
With max charging power of up to 15 watts, it provides fast charging for Android and 7.5 watt charging for iPhone. Note, please use the included QC, uh, QC 3.0 car charger or a higher one to achieve a fast charging effect. It's made from high quality materials and it's easy to install. They use an environmentally friendly ABS material shell and it's very durable. It's got anti-scratch and anti-slip rubberized material base padding and is designed for secure and safe grip, which allows for a pleasant travel. It's got a strong dashboard mount, as you guys seen there. You can fix it anywhere you like in the car. You can fix it on any vent that you like, or you can fix it to the windshield. It's got a wide compatibility. You guys can check down below. We will leave a link with everything that it is compatible with. But basically, you're going to be good to go as long as your phone supports wireless charging and doesn't have a super thick case on it. You do have the two different types of mounts, which you saw, and it's got that auto sensing and smart technology. Basically, just a gentle touch on the sides, the button to make the uh, arms open, which makes driving easier and safer. It intelligently identifies the device and selects optimal charging uh, power performances. No need to manually adjust the bottom arm. When your phone is fully charged, the wireless charger will automatically power off to protect the battery on the phone. That is a very cool feature as well, that auto power off, because you don't have to worry about it overcharging. Um, this thing is only $30, guys. It's like $30.99, so it's kind of a no-brainer. If you want a really good car charger that has all these cool features, these electronics built inside of them, which I already know you guys like, then this is going to be the one for you. Why? Because it's safe and tested. It's made by Alux, and we know they make good products already. You guys can check out my other product reviews by them. They do a really good job. And uh, if you click the link below, you can get this for a $2 off coupon right now, so you can get it for under $30. Bucks. Highly recommended. Get one for yourself, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.